So welcome to the on track sessions. We've got Brian and Tash from the Kahunas Hi. in the studio. Hi. Just had an awesome session. You guys have been down there and smashed it. Thank you. I think we, we, were, knew still, you would, uh, we were still riding high from the, the gigs, the last three gigs that we've done. Yeah, so yeah. brought a little bit of that sort of live Great. energy with us. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You've had a busy weekend. Yeah. It's been crazy, hasn't it? It's been Where a were we on Friday? We're at North Taunton, the Heart, the White Heart. The White Heart. On Friday. Um, new the, pub the, that's opened, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, the owner, um, a guy called James, his mum saw us playing about a year ago and um, she's been in touch with us and asked us to, to come down and sort of like play for the opening of the nice. pub, like the first live yeah, yeah. music that they've had. Well, she heard Hope and Pray on the radio, didn't she, yeah. first time and then came to see us at one of our gigs and then... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you, you've just done the Boy in the Tent Festival as boy well. Boy in the yeah? Tent Festival. Yeah. Wow. Still got the mud on my boots. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How did um, that come about then? Um, they sent us an email um, a few days ago. Yeah, yeah. And we're like, Brilliant. can you guys come? Um, we've got people coming from London and Scotland, but want some local musicians. Yeah, yeah. And um, would you guys be up for it? And we sort of looked and we're like, oh, we've got a gig that night yeah, yeah. in Willacombe. And then um, thought, oh, well, why Bit not? Yeah, why not? <laughs> sort of why on not? The way, wasn't it? Yeah. it was on the way. They could get us on at two o'clock, which was perfect. We could set up and yeah. play. Uh, we yeah. met um, we met the boy in the tent, which you, was... Um, yeah. Max Rusey. He's raised a lot of money, yeah. isn't he? Yeah, 7K. Seven K. And wow. that's... 700,000. Yeah. Just shy of a million pound. Yeah. 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 Wow. So How we long have been doing that? Three, three years. years. Really? amazing and uh, we met uh, Michelle and her husband the people who were organizing the event yeah and we sort of they, they took us around their house and there was all this memorabilia from um, the predator films and the alien films wow. which was really cool and you it? met the, the actual predator seven foot one I've got a picture <laughs> which would show you I look like a hobbit <laughs> 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 Your arm round him like his waist. Yeah. And then there's the rest. Really? Of Brian yeah. looked tiny, literally. Like how how tall are you? Six two. Six two. And he's yeah, seven he's one. I've never. So you struggle to meet people that are like, like taller than you. Yeah. Like. Yeah. <laughs> so strange. Brian's looked small. Wow. He was he was in Prometheus as well. Right. He right. was one of the aliens in Prometheus. It was really really good to meet him. He's really interesting guy. He was telling us about uh, Michael Fassbender and. Yeah, yeah. Um, he met him and loads of other sort of cool actors. Uh, and then we did the gig and the sun came out, didn't it? Which was yeah, great. Yeah, we willed the sun to come out. It was it raining, wasn't it? It was audience participation that did it at the start. <laughs> I was like, right, guys, we're all going to pray to the sun <laughs> gods and, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, get our energy up there. And, and then literally we started playing and the sun came out. And then there was light. And then there was... <laughs> and then there was light. And then she came out. Everyone had their hands out, willing it, and it came. Yeah, it was yeah. really fun. So so, it was a lot of fun, wasn't it? Yeah. So, um, you guys, you play like, all over the place. Mm. Like, how, how, what's the furthest away you've played? It'd be Brixton, wouldn't it? Uh, Hoot Nanny, yeah. Brixton, yeah. Wow. That which was last end of last year, wasn't it? Yeah, we supported a 13... I think they're a 13-piece band called The Destroyers, mm -hmm. which was quite interesting. Wow. Three yeah. Deaf Monkeys were there as well. Yeah, yeah, that the, was amazing. The gigs that are further really? away then, do you reach out to them or are these people, are they getting hold of you? Various, Ch doesn't it? Yeah, there's been, a ch there's been a shift of... Now people are sort of contacting us more than... Yeah, yeah. Last year was a lot of us just contacting hundreds of venues and asking if we could get gigs, whereas now it's... <laughs> He's just gonna attack you. Whereas now it's Stop. um. Hey. Hey, chill, mate. Good boy. Um, now it's sort of places getting in touch with us. Yeah. Um, and so we're in this funny interim of sort of pub gigs, yeah. ticketed events, and supporting. Yeah, yeah. So we're supporting the Ley Lines, Tanker Sahenge, but then yeah. we're at the Beehive in July, where it's our own ticketed event. And then Mr. Wolf's in a couple of weeks headlining. Yeah. And then we're like the Globe doing yeah, like a stuff. sort of pub gig on yeah, Friday. Yeah. And we, we were at obviously Red Barn last night, which was amazing. So we're sort of shifting a lot between yeah, yeah. And the festivals as well. So your new single Exmoor's just come out. So yes. You've been getting quite a bit of traction off of that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah thanks yes. to you. Oh, <laughs> well, you guys came in, you totally smashed it in the studio. You're capturing it. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. been um, Thank it's been pretty you. crazy. We've we've done a proper release strategy this time. We've really yeah, yeah. sort of looked into. You can't just release music and expect it to go viral or people to actually no. even be able to listen to it. You have to um, you have to get all you the need pieces to make them in place. Aware. Which is yeah, yeah. It's, it's like learning a it is learning a skill. It's like learning an instrument. You have yeah. to learn how to uh, you know make the most of yeah. it. 
there's a whole side of it, isn't there, that people, I don't think they, they're either not aware of it, or yeah. they, some people can't be bothered to, to actually do it. Yeah. But you've yeah. definitely noticed a big we, we've change. We've noticed a big difference, haven't we, since um, since doing it like that, and, and being consistent with, with socials, and um, being on a variety of different platforms, it sort of helps to, to reach Come here, um, a wider yeah, yeah. audience. Uh, and that's, that's um, holding true with the, um, with the with the song at the moment with the single yeah, yeah. um looking forward to recording and getting the second single out yeah, yeah getting the album finished and getting that out sort of towards the end of the year hopefully enter the mercury music prize and um brilliant and yeah. get some sort of um yeah, yeah some more exposure and that so that was going to be your first official album i know you've got bits and pieces on spotify already but are they kind of demos or yeah EPs, two EPs, EPs, but that was done at, at the very start of our of the playing, wasn't it? Yeah. So we don't feel like that really reflects where we're at now. Sure. So the Exmoor's where we're at now, I see. And we've got more stuff coming up. Yeah. It's a yeah, massive learning curve be, being in the studio. It's the same with being on the stage. It takes you a while to, to, um, to develop your yeah. performance, to, to develop your approach. Yeah, yeah. And it's the same with, with recording. Um, yeah. So we, we learn a lot from those early EPs. Right. Uh, we're looking to sort of... Um, bring that to the table with the yeah. album and, and get an album that we can sort of be has your with. um writing process changed over the years then or has that stayed the same or? yeah i mean before i met tash i used to lock myself away and write on my yeah. own and nobody could look and or nice. <laughs> it was yeah. a very private sort of yeah, thing yeah. um because it's once you're aware of yourself yeah the, mo the moment's gone sure um so w with tash i was able to write in another human being's company and feel comfortable yeah that yeah. it was it was okay to just do what i was doing and not, then it's not to judge is it just let yeah. stuff come out yeah. and that then gave us the ability to jam together and tash would come up with violin riffs yeah, and yeah. i'd get the guitar Harmony. and light stuff or yeah, i'd yeah. have a song idea and i'd bring it to tash and then we'd play it so yes yeah. it's, it's developed really naturally yeah it happens really naturally doesn't it sometimes you'll well i'll start a riff and then you'll be like like with Exmoor you'll like yeah. keep that riff and then you add to it or you'll be playing guitar and I'll be washing up or something yeah. right, writing yeah. songs is like um, going out into a storm with a lightning rod yeah yeah um, and you just you're just out there in that storm just waiting to catch something yeah yeah and it's the same with writing a song yeah, on yeah. a guitar you just sit with your guitar uh, as often as you can um, and then eventually yeah something sort of comes through if you found since having because obviously uh a violin was a new element to yeah. your writing yeah has that helped did, did you find Massively. it was a, it's yeah. like um like a really beautiful sort of lead guitar yeah yeah it's, it's yeah. the same frequencies same sort of pitches as what you get yeah. with an electric guitar yeah yeah so it's just like it's like the, but she's like the slash of the band <laughs> yeah yeah you're going for it especially <laughs> on the she just needs the it. top hat now yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. And but, the tats. but what's interesting <laughs> is working because the violin's almost like a voice in itself sure yeah so someone once said to me the violin's the closest instrument to the si like singing voice yeah, yeah so when you have singing in there and the violin you have like a lot of how my violin lines go is i weave in and out of the singing yeah, yeah. so it's not to clash because yeah, we yeah. had it before at the start where i do lines you're like oh it's throwing me and yeah. i can't cope with that yeah. yeah so you have to sort of dial it down and come yeah. back in and, and that goes back to that whole thing of learning how to perform how to write together yeah we, we learn the push and pulls and yeah and that's sort of a natural thing that's happened yeah. isn't it yeah because your songs are very dynamic as well when you're playing them there's that's a the lot third band member that's the third <laughs> band member. yeah yeah because there's only, there's only two of us oh, yeah. so we, we need some extra <laughs> yeah yeah oh, so we use yeah, yeah. dynamic a lot so we will in virtually every song there yeah. has to be a <clears throat> drop out and a yeah. build up sure and that i think come in for me goes back to the days when i lived in manchester and used to go clubbing yeah yeah um it's like the hacienda and the boardwalk and places yeah, yeah. like that and all the dance tunes they yeah. have like breakdowns and build ups and you're just on that roller coaster ride like, we, we basically love our crowd to just lose lose yeah. their minds don't we well, I've <laughs> been to a couple of your shows now and even at the open mic the, those girls are up on the, on the table, table. <laughs> it's like, sure, it's a Wednesday night, night guys what because <laughs> we because like, no, that pull and you hold yeah, yeah. hold it <coughs> and we had this guy last night didn't we this, and he just this, he was uh, this husband and wife and they were there with the kids and stuff and he had his 
top zipped down, he's bare chested. He was in his 40s <laughs> and him and his wife were dancing away and he, his eyes were closed and he was playing air guitar. Yeah. yeah. Which, are, which are, do you know? He should have been playing air violin. Do you get any air violinists? I saw, no. I saw yesterday air yeah, violinists at the bar. Yeah. Yeah, so this girl doing <laughs> air violin, I was like, yes. Yeah, and we were, doing, we were doing a song. Uh, we were doing the inter in between two songs. Uh, one is called "The Light," and the other is called "Stonehenge." And in the middle, we have a little instrumental. And yeah. this guy was just eyes closed, and we're doing the instrumental build. And he's, he's like, "Come on!" And he was like, "Give it to me!" And he was just like, completely sort of. Uh, yeah, he was completely good. lost in the moment, and wow. that's that's yeah. it's those moments that I do that we do it for. Yeah, is when people just sort of lose themselves. Lose yeah. their minds. I mean yeah. that kick drum. Uh, even if it just falls to the floor, it adds so much power yeah. to the whole thing. It's quite tribal, isn't it? That's yeah, yeah. Did it take much for you to get used to playing like yeah. that? I used it to must have, have been uh, quite challenging. I, I actually made myself a little stomp box. Yeah, yeah. We were playing at um, an open mic at the Palladium, and this guy had taken the pickup from inside a guitar, Yeah, yeah. and he put it inside a hockey puck with a little jack. Hockey puck. Oh, wow, okay. Hockey hook. Hockey, hockey puck. puck. Yeah, yeah. I don't Puck. Puck. <laughs> yeah, so he had, the, he had the quarter inch jack and yeah, he had his guitar and he was just tapping the hockey oh, puck I see. just to get that beat. I was like, that's a great that's idea. That's cool, yeah. So I bought myself a little pick, made yeah. a little wooden box and then we had our own little... But I soon realised that it wasn't enough of a... Um, yeah, yeah. So then we got the bass drum and I used to have it in front of me but it used to ache my leg. Yeah, sure, sure. I put it behind me and I can do that all day. Yeah, because yeah. I mean, I heel. suppose you're like just going like that, it's natural then, it's isn't it? It's just your heel, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it works really well. I took quite a long time actually figuring all that out, didn't it? It did, yeah. It was a you don't realise it as you go along. You're yeah, like, yeah. oh, that's Well, it's a great own. sound and it's obviously working for you guys. Mm. Yeah. So uh, brilliant stuff. Who came up with the name Rody? I've got to ask. My oldest friend Claire yeah. came up. Yeah, it's, it's brilliant. So we were doing a gig in Brawnton, and it was uh, just before we got him, wasn't it? Yeah. And um, I'd sent a picture of him to my friend, and yeah. um, she said sent me a text back, and she was like, "Oh, he's going to be your roadie." And um, on the like music on the pub, it was that song, oh, "My Rodeo, Romeo," <laughs> and he was his, called. His original name was Romeo. Yeah, he was Romeo. called Romeo right, at right, the right, right. Dogs Trust. So then she said Rody, and then Romeo was going on in the background. Yeah. And then Brian was like, "Rody, that's that's Rody. really cool." Rody. <laughs> Double meaning. So yeah, Claire stuff. came up with uh, with Rody's name, and then yeah, obviously he's our Rody. Yeah, yeah. On the road all the time. Brilliant. Oh, he's a bit mental. At the moment. Yeah. And so, do you, <laughs> when you're gigging, um, he's all right. Is, uh, what does he do? Does we he wait lock in him the up band? in a little dungeon. <laughs> lock him up, keep him away. <laughs> I bet the venues love him though, don't they? Do you know what? He's, he's yeah. He he gets requests when we go to gigs now. People are like, "Can we <laughs> see him? Can we meet him?" Yeah, um, yeah. So yeah, he's loving it. He's just out and about with us all the time. Oh. Um, and he was on ITV News yesterday, wasn't he? He was on ITV News. Really? At the yeah. festival. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. We're thinking about doing a Tea with Titch segment, aren't we? We are, yeah. <laughs> a tea <laughs> with <laughs> Tea with Titch. So like we're going to get you to, So we're going to kind of get you to sit on the sofa, get the guests to sit on the sofa, and then um, we're going to like give you a cup of tea, and then we're going to introduce Titch. We can see how long either before Titch mauls you to death or you spill the tea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And have like a leaderboard. Yeah, yeah, a leaderboard yeah. of tea with Titch and see how it goes, yeah. All the musicians of Barnstable are walking around with severed limbs. He's yeah, <laughs> all, all because of Titch. Yeah. Yeah. He's quite the reputation. <laughs> he's yeah. <laughs> he is. He's quite renowned. But yeah, but then I can't believe that Alice is so polar opposite. Yeah, yeah, and they look titch would make a great album cover. Yeah. So you got Pantera face push, so you could do like yeah, yeah. a titch yeah. like Yeah, it's just this snarling beast of a dog and when you meet it it's like this big. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. His personality's bigger than his little body. Really? We saw this dog yesterday and he she was the same age as Rody. Yeah. And she was like this little meek thing, wasn't she? Yeah. With like no muscle in him. And he looked like a beast compared to her. Like <laughs> How old is Rody? Four months now. But honestly, he was like, yeah, like really friendly. And she was just like this little thing, like, oh God. I was like, oh, we've created a monster. <laughs> um, obviously, you guys have had a busy weekend. What's the summer looking like for you gig-wise? And um, where, if, 
do you have a regular place that you play people can go and see you or is it just sort of we play wherever whenever looking at me aren't you yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have this we have this joke yeah if anything happened to me Brown would know where we're screwed <laughs> yeah. I just let Tash Tash does yeah. all the bookings and everything I just yeah, load yeah. up the van so it right where we're going put the postcode yeah. in yeah. and off we go don't we yeah. weren't you in charge of the Exmoor up. release pardon weren't you in charge of the yeah. Exmoor release <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry it was three weeks early <laughs> cut that bit out no 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 I, I really <laughs> need to know <laughs> Brian, what happened with the Exmoor release yeah, could yeah, you we're dying there, was a, <laughs> there was what we like to say in the trade an administrative error that occurred right. yes. it, was, uh, it was an anomaly that took yeah. place to between be me uploading the song and the release date living in a van your your computer only has a laptop only has like limited battery yeah, power yeah. and your we laptop on red, was on the red so it caused a bit of issues didn't it we were, did all the details uploaded it and then it said there was an error it hadn't uploaded so it's going to upload it again but when we uploaded it again i didn't yeah, yeah. re i didn't redo the date i was cooking so. tea at the time and I was like, yeah, I've right, got this. Yeah, and yeah. then I was like, oh, the battery's going. And then. Yeah. So the release strategy <laughs> didn't go according to yeah. plan. But it meant that we were able to sort yeah. of like yeah. all hands to the pump and yeah. make We nice had everything thing. in place. So even everything though it was, was early, everything still. You have worked. to just trust in it happening. Like, Lesson there's a disguise, reason. There's yeah, a yeah. reason. So. Yeah, there was a reason. But going back to Matt's question. Yeah, this. So we've got. We're flat out, really. Um, I think. I, we've, I think our next weekend off is the 20th of May, between like now and then. Um, so we've got lots of uh, festivals. We're playing it here for the music, yeah. uh, which is a, a big festival sort of around these parts. Yeah. Uh, we're supporting Tankers the Henge at Junction 27, nice. Nice. Um, which is the first gig at Junction 27, which we're really looking forward to. 21st of April. <clears throat> we're supporting um, the Ley Lines. On the 12th of May. Yeah, and we're playing at the Beehive. Um, as for regular places, I mean, we're okay. getting to the point now where we've been around the circuit enough that we're going back to venues for yeah, a second yeah. time and, and third time, that sort of thing. Yeah. But we're flat out now for the for Yeah, the just sort of, we'll play anywhere and we'll travel wherever people yeah. want us, really. That's, you know, the van as well means that we just... We'll literally go wherever, wouldn't we? We'd love just to go abroad and do. Uh, yeah, yeah. So we actually tour met, Europe. We met yeah. a couple yeah. who owned a cafe in France. They saw us at a, um, yeah. a gig in in Bristol. Yeah. And they want they want us to go over and do a gig nice. there. So yeah, we'd like to get over to France and. Um, be nice. It'd be nice um, to sort of progress to sort of block tours. Yeah, you yeah. know, so yeah, you'd like yeah. oh, because at the moment we're sort of obviously doing two or three, four gigs a week. And keeping that momentum forever is obviously yeah. exhausting. So it's been nice to sort of get us to do like a block tour, have a proper break, block tour. Yeah. That's sort of where we like to progress to more and go more wherever. More ticketed events. More yeah. ticketed. The ticketed events are great, aren't they? And that's yeah. getting busier and busier. And lots of festivals. So Brilliant. we update all of our socials all the time, all the dates where we're playing um, on the website. But obviously, yeah, it's always changing isn't it as yeah. more things get booked in so just keep an eye on the social didn't you get tracked down by a fan at, in westwood ho a little while back we got our photo taken by <laughs> a stalker fan <laughs> oh something <laughs> happened didn't it the other day what with my um signature oh yeah autograph tash, tash got asked for her autograph <laughs> i was so uncool about it though i was like oh we don't know what i'm gonna say yeah you're supposed <laughs> to you say oh god really my my both my names. Or? I was like, Tasha, taking all the cool out of it. I was like, really? and just go like, give them a smile, just give them a scribble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, it wasn't great, was I? Like, that whole thing. Just start uh, sorting that out at rehearsal. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's it. Brilliant. Yeah. Cool. So that was cool, but yeah, just busy out there. Mm. It's really nice to see the dynamic between you and watching you play as well. That is so obvious, is that you yeah. just feed off of each other. Yeah. Uh, and, it, and it's brilliant. We I did, loved it. We did this funny thing when I play because when I concentrate a lot on my riffs, I'll do like a demon stare at Brian sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what's wrong on my show? Yeah, right? you I'm got like, this. Okay. People must <laughs> think that. Like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> menacing <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I can see that bow going right through the side of my ear in a minute yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I'm thinking is she looking yeah. through me yeah, or yeah. is she looking have I done something wrong <laughs> honestly guys and then she'll come out of it and I'll get yeah, a little yeah. smile like oh yeah, yeah. okay <laughs> you still do like a weird smirk as well yeah. sometimes yeah. I'll just be like Smirking I think I think that's why at your gigs I think people can feed off your guys' interaction and yeah. energy mm. and it's the same isn't it if, if you're enjoying yourself on stage then yeah. everybody else is going to as well and the yeah. fact that, you know, the fact that you're a couple as well and you're really locked in I think it shows yeah. and then people love it a lot of people were really surprised about that weren't they yeah. when we first started playing they don't I think because we're more established now people are more used to it but they would just couldn't believe yeah, yeah. That we could do songs together. Yeah, yeah. And they're just like not bickering about everything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's weird, isn't it? Yeah, it could you go either like, way though, couldn't it? Yeah, but, but then we did have to go <laughs> for a big pro- learning process, didn't we? And we'll have off days, and yeah, um, you know, it's not all sunshine and rainbows, is it? No. We do have to work hard. Like sometimes, yeah. We'll I'll get people coming up to me and saying, I can't even put a piece of Ikea furniture together with my missus. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then we're living in a van together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. In a relationship and yeah. writing songs and performing yeah. and travelling on the road together. Yeah. yeah. Like, all the time, so. You just have to, you just have to be kind to each other. You know, you yeah. have days where you have, days you're on fire and you have days when you're, yeah. um, not. you're not. We've definitely have midweek, like, after gig come downs, don't we? Yeah, yeah. midweek days. Um, and we just do exercise and eat well and yeah. chill. Yeah. And just be I think you um, can't stay in that sort of zone for too long. It's yeah. always going to be a come down. I think if like, I mean, any relationship is the same. Me and Sam are the same. We've been together like 10 years and we barely argue. I think if you know that you're in a shit mood, then you can just go, oh, I might be overacting a little bit. Yeah, you always checking on yourself. Like, yeah, yeah, before yeah. pointing the finger. Yeah, That's yeah, 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 thing, yeah. isn't it? Like, am I being a bit of a... Yeah, yeah. We always then, reflect there's on that, the secret we? to it. And yeah. Tasha always gives me the space to think about, like, if I've said something or if I've been a bit grumpy. I've, yeah. I'm allowed the space to process what's happened. And then there's the trust there f- from Tash that if I've yeah. been a bit of a idiot, I, I'll get an opportunity to hold my hands up and say, well, I'm yeah. sorry about that yeah. or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Where there's, there's, we never, we never attack each other or, um, yeah try and make each other feel yeah. bad yeah like we know after this big like we've had a lot of gigs we know this week we're going to be tired probably tuesday wednesday yeah yeah. that's, that's going to be when we, when yeah, we yeah. hit um yeah. and we'll just yeah just have be really kind and then we'll yeah. go again for the weekend we've got interview yeah. at the voice haven't we on thursday yeah we're at the yeah. voice radio on nice thursday. yeah and then we've got a gig friday and it just yeah she just sort of Oh, that's flows, great. Isn't it? Ebb and flow, yeah. yeah. Well, it works goes for you guys. In relationships, like you said. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Well, that's amazing. If Brian comes Don't in with a black eye, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and walk, I walked into a door. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that old chestnut. Because I released yeah, a song okay. earlier again. You've been out releasing music without me again. Your debut album. Your debut album is called Broken. <laughs> Brian says sorry. <laughs> Brian admits his mistakes. Yeah, yeah. Brian. It's a log of like my errors <laughs> in song form. Yeah. But it's all good. It's all good content and stories, though, isn't it? Really, because you've now got. They'll forever be this anecdote about Exmoor yeah. Yeah, because yeah. it got released early yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it's it's just and, one of those and I really believe I really believe in trusting in life and I really think like I've had so many situations where I've met people along the way or certain things happen and later on down the line you go oh well that's why that happened yeah. so when we woke up and it was out and I said to you Exmoor's on YouTube <laughs> oh it's on Spotify and I was just like well it's obviously meant to be out now we weren't yeah, meant, yeah. meant to wait till middle of April yeah. so yeah yeah you just have to I mean, you're going to have to just roll with it. I mean, what would the option yeah. be? Ring up and say, oh, you got to take it off, and then there's a... Pr- yeah, like what? Been... Yeah, no, I... And I what was totally... weird is we'd sort of pushed getting all the artwork and everything yeah, it was done all early, ready, wasn't didn't it? we? It was yeah. sort of, everything was in place to go. Got You'd got the music video done. Yeah. That was amazing that you did that. Yeah. Fate and chance. Yeah, yeah. And who whose idea was it to get the ponies and contact Exmoor? Is it Exmoor Pony Trust? Mine, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, we wanted some sort of pony or clip clopping in the yeah. video, but we just thought with it being Exmoor, it would be great to have something other than us in it. What yeah. better than Exmoor ponies? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've got an Exmoor pony. It's a nice touch. Yeah. Which I love. But um, then we contacted yeah, the Exmoor Pony Project, yeah. and um, they were so helpful. And they, Dawn, 
Dawn at the Exmoor um, Pony Project. Brilliant. And yeah, she was just like, yeah, great, I'll send yeah. you the footage. And she's obviously, she's got the song that she's yeah, going yeah. to say. Yeah, yeah, lovely. Um, yeah, so that went really well. Mm. Good stuff. Yeah. Cool. Well, thank you, guys. Yes, thank Thanks, you very guys. much. Thanks for hanging out, guys. No problem. Yeah, great talking to you. Us. And um, here's the Kahunas and their new single, Exmoor. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Sound we heard when something like this, this, this. 